That Dev, I don't know how he stays in business. I must be one of his most regular customers. And do I get a smile, a biscuit, the occasional brew? No respect. Oh, yeah, because you're big on respect, aren't you? I am. Maybe for the living, but how about for the dead? This is Vera's. I want to know why half of it's missing and you're walking around in the best earrings. I... No, don't try and deny it. Here's the proof. I saw it. Only last week. Mind you, the junk you two stuff in this thing. Fruit bowl. <laughs> Belongs on the antique road show. No. Hallelujah. There it is. Ah. That's everything. Apart from them earrings. Oh, well, there. How was I to know, anyway? Box was shoved under the bed. It was covered in dust. I just thought, well, bring it all back to life. And if you'd have asked me, I'd have told you. Anyway, it wasn't shoved, it was stored. Look, I know it's not the Crown Jewels, but I still want to keep it safe for the girls. Naughty Evelyn. Mm, must not borrow the bling. You know what, Fizzy's right, this isn't working. Your attitude to the people that have helped you stinks. Ah, oh, Tyrone, take a joke. Where, where are you going? Going to claim my head. Well, well, we'll come with you. Here, come on, Cerberus. Here, boy. No, you won't. I don't want to talk to you. I'm ungracious. You're not the first to tell me that. I've been on my own too many years. So? It's no excuse. Well, you know, what you had with Vera, I've, I've never had. All right. So things wasn't quite as cosy as you made out, was they not? Me and Cassie? Uh, no, not always. Mostly my fault. I hold my hands up. I don't like it in myself. You know, the bitterness. I'd curdle milk. Well, I wasn't always like that. All oh, right, don't tell me it's because you had a hard life. Ah, oh, go on, roll your eyes. Well, can you blame me? No, and I don't blame your mother either. She felt she couldn't confide in me. <laughs> confide in you? She had a whole other life that she had to hide from you. Oh, times were different, Tyrone. No! No, not that different. Look, just admit it, you are not the injured party here. I was abandoned because of you. You can believe that if you want. Yeah, if it makes it easier for you to give me my marching orders. Years I had to put up with Jackie. And all the thieving and the midnight flits and new schools, new uncles every week. That I thought I was hard done by. Well, now you know. You dodged a bullet. OK. Uh, you've, you've been kinder to me than I've deserved, and I'm grateful. I just hope we can stay in touch. I'm, I'm not kicking you out. Right, you're still my nan. But it, you've got to dump this package, cos if you don't... I'll die it... a lonely old woman. Find me, I've been knocking for ages. Hey, welcome to Weatherfield Fashion Week. Look who's here. Look, Mummy. Real gold. Yes, and point those hips again and turn. Out this stunning mummy. Yeah. Is that Vera's fun fur? Let's that's good, that's good. Oh, and again, we've had a talk. Her. Good job. She's then. admitted she's glossed over a few things about my mum in the past, but she said she's sorry. Yeah, that's fair. That jewellery is the girl's anyway. Why shouldn't they use it now? They're only gathering dust under the bed. Oh, I give up. Happy look at her. having a ball. And mummy stopped playing bad cop again. You were really hurt this morning, Ty. And now, suddenly, Vera's jewellery is a joke. Vera's a joke. No. If you want something, take it. That's the message. No, you're wrong. Look, Evelyn is really trying. She gets it. I mean, can't we just have a good night for the girls' sake? For the girls, yeah. Anything. But I'm telling you, you keep bending over backwards for that woman and pretty soon she's going to break your back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. 